our mission was to get the civilians so that they knew we were friendly, give them food and water, and then get them back to the rear where they could be properly looked after, gotten medical attention. By that time, there were more interpreters from the Japanese side who had come over that were helping us, native Okinawans and Japanese, that would try to go up to the caves and call into the people and tell them to come out and they'd be well treated. There was nowhere for these innocents to hide. I can recall vividly lines of civilians coming across the dikes in the rice paddies, and they were coming in toward our lines, and the Japanese mowed them down. I'm not talking about a half dozen or a dozen people. I'm talking about groups of 40, 50, 60 people in line being fired at by their own troops. The Japanese military did not want them to surrender. They must have firmly believed their own propaganda about how we would brutalize them, torture them, and murder them. June 21st, 1945. The Japanese army fight their last battle. General Ushijima issues his final orders before committing suicide. My beloved soldiers, you have fought courageously for nearly three months. You have discharged your duty. Your bravery and loyalty brighten the future. Farewell. Organized Japanese resistance ends. Well, number one, we were glad that the operation was over. We were elated. And we began to get some decent food. They were feeding us again. So. Ice cream, for goodness sakes. Who ever heard of such a thing? But, <laughs> but we got some. Over 38,000 Americans have been wounded and over 12,000 killed or missing. They had the cemeteries all planned out. And uh, we did have an opportunity to go to those cemeteries it gave you a great feeling of relief and, and an awfully uh, deep feeling of sadness. I think about the ones who didn't come back and what might have been. They lost their tomorrow so I could have mine. It's, it's very deeply embedded that uh, sense of camaraderie and uh, it's permanent in the evening when it's dark and you have time to think and reflect back on what we'd seen the horror of it I think some of us shed tears most all of us prayed certainly we have no love for warfare we despise it but it's part of what we do in our profession and we do it better than anyone else Victory at Okinawa finally signified to the Allied forces that they had gone through the Pacific, they had taken every Japanese bastion that existed in the Pacific. Now only one step remained, Japan itself. The price for this island was estimated at over 200,000 lives. President Truman would later say, I do not want another Okinawa from one end of Japan to the other. This last great battle served as a catalyst for the world-changing decision that followed. Six weeks after victory at Okinawa, Hiroshima and Nagasaki marked the dawning of a new age. and brought an end to a conflict that had lasted nearly four years and cost millions of lives. The war in the Pacific was over.